Welcome everyone. Today we are doing a 25 minute athletic reformer workout. So we will be only using the reformer. You don't need any other props at all. And we're gonna move through a full body kind of fun, fast paced workout. We're gonna begin with uh, some ab work down on the carriage. So I have my foot bar up and I'm using the Allegro 2, which is a balanced body reformer. The balanced body and the Stott uh, Pilates reformers uh, springs are pretty equivalent. The balanced body might be a little bit lighter. So I'll tell you what springs I'm using. You always need to adjust for yourself when working out. Uh, so I would recommend starting with what I say and then see if that works for your body. For, to begin with, we're gonna be doing some uh, footwork right after our ab work. So I'm starting with three heavy springs on our three red springs. Let's come down onto the carriage and we're gonna start with your heels on the foot bar here. Just comfortable. And I'm gonna scoot a little bit away so I'm not right up against the shoulder rest. I'm gonna start with a chest lift. So I'm gonna float my arms off the carriage as I exhale and come up. And then I'm gonna lower back down. Again, I'm gonna exhale and flex up and come back down. Now I want my eye level to drop down. That's gonna help take some of the tension out of the neck so I can focus more on the abs. Exhale up and lower back down. Let's do that again. Exhale, come up and come back down. And I let my shoulders lift and kind of round forward a little bit as I come up. That allows for more flexion in the upper back and a deeper contraction of the abs. Exhale up and lower down. Let's do two more just like that. Come up and down and one more. Exhale up and down. Now I'm gonna take my hands and support my head and I'm gonna do that same thing but as I come up, I'm gonna lift one foot and then the other off of the foot bar. Again, exhale up and come back down and exhale up and lower back down and curl and down and we've got five and lower and four exhale each time you come up three and two and one now I'm gonna lift that leg up and this time when I come up I'm gonna turn toward the leg and come back down. Other leg, rotate two. And down, exhale and cross over three. And down and rotate to the other side, four. And five, halfway there. And over six. And exhale up seven. And eight, we got it. Nine. And 10 and come back down. Now from here, my headrest is flat. I'm gonna roll the hips up for a second and then roll back down. This will take any stress out of the hip flexors that you just put in them and it will roll the spine out. Feels really good, doesn't it? Roll up and down two more times. Roll up and down. This will wake up the back of the legs and down. All right, now, heels on the bar, hip distance apart, and press the carriage out, and bring it back in. So press right through the center of the heel, and come in and exhale, press three, and four. Now we're doing single, single, double. So you're gonna press out with one leg, and come in, now switch. The other leg goes to tabletop, and now both feet on, press out one time. Let's try that again. Single leg, alternate, and both legs. Let's do it again. Single leg, and switch, and both. Guys, I want you to make sure that you're pressing out with your heel on the bar in line with your sit bone. Press, and both and press single single and double both legs 
There you go. Again, single. We got it? Yeah? <laughs> and single. I hope so. And double. Let's do that again. Heels. Single. And single. And both. We're going to do two more sets of the heels like this. Single. And single. And both. And one more set. Are they heating up on you? <laughs> and single. And both. If they weren't, they will now. We're going to float those hips just off the carriage here. So there's a little bit of distance, about a hand's width. You can slide your hand barely under your bum. And let's do that same thing. Single press. Single press. Both feet press. Woo! And again, single press. So heels lifted. Single press. And both. Let's do it again. Single. Now don't let your bum start to raise up above the carriage. You want to keep it at the same height. And both. Keep that single, single, double. So one leg. And then the other. That's it. And then both. And again. One leg. And then the other. And then both. I think we can set our hips down. Ah. <sighs> for a second. Let's go into high half toe. So for me, that's balls of the feet with the heels lifted, feet still hip distance apart, and let's press out with both legs just a couple times just to get used to that position. That's it. Your hips are down. Your pelvis is on the carriage. That's it. Now let's start our single, single, double. So press out with one leg. Alternate press out with the other leg. Now press with both feet. And again, one leg. Feet are lined up with the sit bones on that foot bar. The other leg. And now both legs. Again, single, single. Here we go. And now double legs, both. And again, one leg. And switch. And both. Woo! Again, single leg and switch and both all right come on in float the hips off press out with both feet remember your bum is just hovering above that carriage it doesn't get any higher and now let's do our single single double one leg switch both legs for one time and single and switch and both Oh, can you feel the calves and hamstrings? Single. And single. And both legs. Again, single. And single. And both. And come in and lower the hips down. Beautiful. Now we're going to go into our uh, lower and lift. So you're going to press out with both legs. Lower the heels under. Lift them up and come back in. Now let's add our single, single, double to this. So press out. Your hips are down. One heel goes under. So it's a slow run. Then the other side. Switch. Then both heels. And come in. Let's do it again. Press out. One heel goes under. The other knee bends. And switch. Now both heels go under. Let's do it again. Press out. One heel goes under. Switch. And then both. And come back in. Now, we're going to lift the hips. Press out. And we're just going to do the same thing. One heel under. Switch. Then both heels under. Bend the knees. The hips stay hovering above the carriage. Press out. One heel under. Switch. Both. Bend the knees, press back out, one heel under, switch, both, Woo! and come back in. We can do it one more time, press out, one heel under, switch, both, bend the knees and come in. Second position, heels on the bar, legs turned out, heels wide on the bar, and hips down, press out, and press. Now, no more single, single, double, we're just going to keep the hips down and press out. So this is the last of our footwork and then we'll move on. 
Can you feel the legs? Yes? I hope so. Now, let's float the hips off and keep going. Press and press. This is really great for those of you who like to work the glutes. This is a great position. Turned out and extending is what the glutes do and that's what we're doing. Five more. Press five and four and three. Keep the bum hovering. Two. Beautiful. And one. And come in and set the hips down. All right. It's time for a spring change. I'm going to go from three heavy to two heavy for that supine arm work now. So get, have your straps ready and come on down onto the carriage. Now for this series, I want you to move away from the shoulder rest so you're not right up against it. There's a little space between your shoulder and the shoulder rest. Legs tabletop, straps in your hands. You're going to extend your elbows. Then you're going to lift the whole arm up. You're going to pull the whole arms down and then you're going to bend your elbow. So it's a tricep lift and lower combo. So extend the elbow, lift the arm, lower the arm, bend the elbow, extend, lift, lower and bend. Extend the elbow, lift the arm, lower the arm, and bend. We're going to exhale as we press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, bend. Do it again. And extend. Lift. Lower. And bend. Let's do it again. Extend. Lift. Can you feel the triceps and the back of the shoulders working? Do it again. Press. Lift. Lower. And in. Last two. Press. Lift lower and bend. Last one and press. Lift, lower and stay there. Hey guys, before we continue the workout, I just want to tell you about John Gary TV. On John Gary TV, you'll see workouts like this without any ads or any interruptions. We have literally thousands of workouts on John Gary TV. We've got mat workouts, reformer workouts, all kinds of workouts. And we have lots of different subscriptions so you can find the one that's perfect for you. If you check out our link above, you'll see that your subscription is 50% off your first month. I hope you'll join me over on John Gary TV and now let's get back to work. Turn the palms so that they're facing your hips. Open the arms out and let's just pull for 10 and exhale 9. Feel the lats and 8 and exhale 7. Pull 6. Keep that going and 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, and relax in. All right, let's place the straps on your feet. The same spring here, we have two heavy or two red. Straps are on the feet, and we're gonna start with a bend of the knees, and a straighten, and a lift, and a lower. Again, combine, bend, straighten, lift the leg, and lower. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend, lift, and lower. Let's do it again. Bend, straighten, lift, lower. Again, bring it in, press it out, lift it up, lower down. You can inhale as you bend, exhale as you extend, inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. Do it again, and bend, extend, lift, and lower. We got it, bend. Extend, lift, and lower. One more. Bend, extend, lift. Now lower and hold them there. Turn the legs out. The heels are going to beat together. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to lift and beat. One, two, three, four. And lower. One, two, three, four. And lift. One, two, three, four. Four and lower. One, two, three, four and lift. One, two, three, four and lower. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna travel at the same time. So you lift and beat. One, two, three, four and lower. Two, three, four and lift. Two, three, four and lower. Two, 
three, four, and lift. Inner thighs and glutes, yes? And lower, woo! And lift, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, four, and lift, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, four, and lift. Breathe in, and exhale down, and up, two, three, four, and down. You can do one more, right? And up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Bring the legs up. Bend into a diamond position. Reach the legs out and pull around. So the frog. Lift up, breathe in. Exhale to bend. Inhale to extend. Exhale, pull around. And lift. And bend. And extend. And pull around. Last two, and lift. Bend. Open and pull around. Last one, and lift. Bend, reach out, and pull around. Now just bend your knees and take the straps off the feet. And let's come up. We're gonna go into our back rowing now. So keep the straps handy. And I'm gonna go down to just one heavy, one red spring. I'm gonna come onto my knees here. Now you can sit on the carriage like this with your legs out in front of you, or you can sit on your heels this way. I'm gonna uh, do this so that I get a little bit more range and I feel a little bit more powerful here. It's also helpful if you have tight hamstrings or a tight lower back to sit in this position. If it's bad on your knees, just sit on the carriage with your legs in front of you. We're gonna start, I'm gonna come back here just a little ways. I'm gonna have to stabilize now, I'm gonna have to control and I'm gonna press back. Now you can decide if that one heavy spring is enough. Exhale, pull, inhale forward, and pull, and forward. Just think about doing eight to 10 of each one. And is that gonna be enough resistance to fatigue you? Abs tight, pull, and forward. We've got five, and bring it forward. Four, and three, and two, and one, beautiful. Now, I'm going to cross the ropes and hold on to the flat black part right near the hardware, right near where the strap meets the rope. And I'm gonna bend the elbows out to the side and return. Two. And exhale, pull three. And four. And five. Bring it forward. I think about pulling the shoulder blades together and then letting them spread apart. Let's do two more. Now we're gonna add our chest lift. So as you pull back, you're gonna lift your chest, so you're extending your back, and then you come back tall. Again, pull back, lift the sternum toward the sky, drop the shoulders down and back, and come forward. Again, pull back, this is great for the back of the shoulders, all the muscles down the back of the spine. And again, pull, breathe in. And exhale forward. Pull back, breathe in. And exhale forward. Three more. Pull back, breathe in. And exhale forward. Two more. Pull back, get that squeeze, get that hold. And forward one more time. Pull back, lift. And come forward. All right, you can uncross the ropes. Now we are going to sit down on the carriage for this with your legs out. Now, if you've got tight hips, you may wanna take your legs on the outside of the shoulder rest like this. You can also keep them in the center if that feels more comfortable to you. Either way is fine. Reach back. You should have at least the width of your hand between your seat and the edge of the carriage because we're gonna be rolling down and doing some biceps. So sitting tall, breathe in, and then exhale. Tilt the pelvis back and roll down. Now hold that position and elbows reaching forward. Give me some bicep curls and curl. And again, and out, and curl, and again. Now you can squeeze against the shoulder rest if you're on the outside of them, and that helps you stabilize the lower body so it doesn't move around on you. And again, pull, and pull. Let's do six more. We've got six, five, and four, three, two, one, hold this one in, fold forward, 
and stack the spine up. Beautiful, okay. We're gonna go into a little side kneeling work. I'm gonna use the same sp spring. So I'm using the one heavy spring and I'm facing the side here. Come up onto your knees. Hips are open. Glutes are tight. Knees a little wider will help you balance. Grab the strap and the hand closest to it. Lace the other fingers over and rotate. And back. Two. And come around. Three. Four. Now keep your hips aimed straight ahead and turn the rib cage. And again. And pull. And one more. Woo. Now decide if that spring is gonna work for you. Hold the strap in the hand closest to it. <clears throat> Take your other hand and place it on your thigh. You're gonna press and bend. That's it, press overhead and side bend. Two, inhale to come back. And again, exhale, press three. And back, press right over, four. And up, five, and six, we got it. And seven, keep it going. Eight, nine, one more. 10 and come back. All right, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna do that same series on the other side. So here we go. Knees about hip to shoulder distance apart. Grab the strap in the hand closest to it. Lace the other hand over and rotate. Exhale, turn. Inhale, return. Three. And back and rotate four. And back, and exhale around five, and six. We got this. And rotate, seven, come on now. Just the rib cage turns. Two more, hips stay facing forward. You exhale as you turn, and come back. All right, side bend, use your hand on the side of the leg, and punch over as you side bend. Come back up tall. Exhale, press two, and back. Three, bring it back, four, and five, we got it. Exhale over six, inhale back, seven, get that good reach, really stretch. Eight, reach for the carriage with your hand. One more, coming all the way back up each time, and back. All right, return the carriage with control. And I'm gonna go one heavy and one light for our plank work. So I'm going a red and a blue. Now, hug that bar with your hand, put one foot and then the other <clears throat> against the shoulder rest and come into your plank position. From here, push back with one straight line from head to feet. Stay back there, bring the knees under. Press the legs back, hinge forward, shoulders end right above the bar. Press back, exhale, pull the legs under. Inhale, press the legs back, exhale, come forward. Three, press back, pull under. Press back out, come forward. Long stretch back. Knee stretch under, return the legs, come forward. Breathe in, exhale, pull, press, return. Back, knees in, legs straighten, return. Push back, draw it in, press it out, come forward, two more. Press back, draw it in, press it out, Last one, back, pull, press, return. Knees come down gently, step to the side. Keep it one heavy, one light, one red, one blue. Put your foot on the floor near the front of the reformer, hands on the foot bar, sink down, press back for that single thigh. Forward, 
Rise up, hips sink. The feet push apart. Bend your front knee to come forward. Let your hips lift at the very end. Sink, press, come forward. Lift, two more. Sink, press back, forward. And up, one more, sink. Push back, now on this one, come in. Before you lift your hips up, take your outside arm and reach it up and just extend. Just breathe, drop the shoulders back. Put the hand back on the foot bar, rise up, bringing the carriage in. Let's move over to the other side. Back foot against the shoulder rest, front foot right at the front leg of the reformer, sink down, push back, push with your feet. Forward and up. Sink, press the legs apart. Forward and up. Down, it should feel really good on the hip flexors and the hamstrings. Two more, sink, press, forward and up. One more time, press back there. Now come forward, but stay low. Take the outside arm and just lift it up and reach back. Get that full body stretch from fingertips down to the knee or the toes if you're stretching back far enough. Lower the arm to the foot bar. Bring the carriage underneath you. And we are finished. I hope you enjoyed this express athletic reformer workout. I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Bye everybody.